Hello again, this is Zach from Software Academy. So in order to start programming with Python, we need to actually install Python onto our computer. So the first thing you need to do is boot up your favorite web browser. I have Google Chrome open already. So what we'll do, we'll go to the search bar at the top and then just search for Python. And you'll see it. The first thing that comes up is python.org. This is the official Python website where you can download the latest version of Python. So you can either click on the main link or you can press the download link as long as it's underneath this python.org like this. Now let's click on this option that says welcome to python.org and this will take us to the Python website. Now you can see there's a lot of different stuff in here that you can read in your own time, but the one we're most interested in here is the downloads. Now you can see down this list here, there are a bunch of different options for each operating system. So depending on what kind of computer you have, you might have to choose a different option. But for most people, you'll have a Windows PC. You can see here it shows download for Windows by default. So I can click on this button here for Python 3.13.7. Obviously yours might have a different number depending on when you're watching this course, but I can just click on this here and it will give me a download of the latest version. You can also view the full list of downloads if you're not sure. And you can see there are options here again for the same link we saw before, as well as other operating systems. So it's up to you based on your operating system, but I'm gonna choose the main download link because I'm on Windows. So we'll click on this here and you'll see it'll try to save it into my downloads folder. I'll save this and there we go. So we can see the download has completed. Now all you need to do is click on this and it should run the Python installer. Now you should get a window like this. And on Windows especially, you'll have these two tick boxes down here. Make sure both of these are ticked. Otherwise it might struggle to install Pygame. So we'll make sure both of these are ticked if they're available and we'll press the install now in the default location. So we'll see it starts installing Python here. It'll just take a quick moment. And here we go, Python has been successfully installed. So we can close this here. However, even though we have Python installed, we don't actually have Pygame. And that's because it's a separate library that doesn't come with Python by default. So what we need to do is also install that library. Now there are a few ways of installing Pygame. However, I'm going to show you the one that I'm most familiar with. So I will open up a new tab. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for Pygame CE. So this is Pygame Community Edition. If we click on the Pygame-CE link, it should be at pypy.org. So we'll click on this one. You'll see this gives us a lot of information about this version of the Pygame library. And as you can see, we have an installation command here. So this might look completely alien to you. You might never have seen anything like this before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use this command in order to install Pygame. Now we do have this box here that says for the installation, we have to use this command. It's also at the top of the page. Now, if you press this little icon here, you can see it copies it to our clipboard. So without even having to select it and copy it, we can just press this button. And now you can see we've copied this. Now you might be thinking, where do we actually paste this? So what you want to do is navigate to the bottom of your screen. And while mine is hidden, it will pop up if I hover over it and you'll see a little search bar here next to your Windows icon. Again, depending on your operating system, this might be in a different place, but for me, it's around the middle. So I'll click into here and I'll simply search CMD and you'll see the first thing that comes up is command prompt. So if I click on this command prompt here, this should open up a terminal like this. And what we want to do is simply paste this command into this terminal. Now you can either hold control and press V to paste this in here, or you can simply just right click and you'll see it pastes in, but we only want one of these in here. So make sure it says pip install pygame dash CE and then press enter. And you'll see it start installing. It's very quick and it's done already. So now we have both Python and Pygame installed. And likewise, if you need any of the libraries like NumPy, you can do a very similar approach. You can say pip install and then the name of the library. But for now, these are the only libraries we will need for this course. So with Python installed, we now need to think about how we're going to actually code in Python. So in the next lesson, we're going to look at the default code editor that comes with Python and another option we can use that will make our workflow a lot easier. So I'll see you there. <laughs>